Hey everybody, this is Cichlid Shane again. I want to do a quick video on what really gets me into the hobby. Um, you know, I, you know, a lot of people will go buy the fish and they're all colored up and they have an instant tank and they're and that's great and that's everyone you know each for each their own to each their own whatever. Um, but I enjoy seeing the evolution, the changing of the of the fish from a juvenile to boom Christmas Day is it a female boom does it become a male is what color is it gonna have etc so I mean you know you can see down here some females and there's the male you know and when it's a juvenile you, you're starting with this so you know when you see this gradually turn into this you know that's that's just exciting for me you know I see it happening over a period of time and for this particular fish they could take a year and a half for this fish to color up fully for uh, these bengas so I'm going to show you a couple of the fish that are in this and all the fish that I'm going to show you are in my tank minus one and that's the deep water hat but it will be um, I'm going to get them so there's the benga and that's what you know the male is going to look like when he's fully colored up approximately um, here's a uh, I don't know, it might be hard for you to see. Let's see if I can zoom it in here. There we go. That's a uh, compressiceps uh, male. And this is the kind of like the fry stage. If I can bring that up to you. And that's what I've got right now in my tank, you know, as you can see in the other video. So to see that turn into that, you know, is you know amazing over a period of you know six months to a year so that's really what gets me into the hobby um, here's that deep water hap that just kinda looks like a little raccoon to me I, I want one you know some people don't like them but I want one and that's the adult male approximately this is the fry so you can see you know you've got this kinda little bland fish the next thing you know boom you know has the markings looks really cool and that's what I like I really like that um, here's a dolphin fry then boom you've got these amazing fish here male and a female you know dragon bloods they're not a whole lot different the fry is just kind of a smaller not as colored so I don't think I have a, a fry picture um, now here's a uh, fire hap that I do have. This one is a is a it's a juvie, but it's a it's a very uh, young male. It's just starting to color up. But if you were to take that little orange just out, that's what the the fry is gonna look like. And then, boom! When they get bigger, they're gonna look like that. And that's just you know awesome. Here's looks like it's a fusco. That's a fusco female may not be showing up so uh, great on your on the video but uh there's the fry I wonder if I can get it to maybe tilt down a little bit better so you guys can get a better angle on there but that's the uh, Fusco fry and then there's the male I mean that's amazing I mean that's like a 12 inch fish 10 to 12 inch fish it's got the white nose markings red blue I mean that's just that's gonna be the the mac daddy of the fish tank you know him the venustus the you know living stony the compressiceps I mean my god you know people are gonna walk by they're gonna see those fish in there like they're just gonna stop and say what is that you know um, here we got a German red female looks like a little fry and then boom you got this amazing fish that you're gonna have I mean that's just amazing some uh, Jacobs Eureka male females in there um, here is the uh, blue orchid the male on the bottom the female on the top and there's a little fry for one so I mean to see that turn into even for it to grow up and get big and turn into female is is cool you know but uh, if it becomes a male it's even better 
here we have the uh, blue regals you can see those male female and here's a little fry that I have same fish then uh, here we go with uh, my landy fry and that will turn into this which is freaking cool sulfur head it's gonna be you know bluish maybe slight hints of yellow and then boom yellow nose markings all the way back to the, the dorsal fin a little bit of yellow on the back tail that's awesome here we have the malomo right here and then boom he gets some color too a really cool fish um, here's my uh, nice acromas that's a female fry and this is what the males look like they will get a nose marking too when they're in breeding colors it's like a turquoise uh, nose marking as well this looks like a red empress fry and then boom it's like super nice color for that fish got a, a red shoulder fry and then boom we've got a super nice fish there I mean you just go on and on and on every fish it's like a it's like a Christmas open up a gift you don't know what you're gonna get you know you have an idea from you know the videos but every fish looks a little bit different but I mean look at that fish it's amazing you know here's a uh, intermediate fry the silver three dots and then boom you've got this you know amazing fish we've got the Venustus fry and then we got male and female you know the males look amazing got a yellow blaze I like I like nose marking fish this is the hap version of like the silver head and then oh this guy never comes out right but he's kind of stretched but it's blue with a yellow has a little bit more yellow on the tail than the uh, sulfur head but that's that's why I mean you cannot go wrong with having these surprises and I think everyone should get a couple fry let them grow out and be surprised if it's a female and you don't want it then put it on Craigslist go to the fish store see if you can get some store credit you know or keep it you know maybe you want to you have it sometimes having a female will make the males color up better you know there's lots of, of reasons to keep the female but I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing the fry I have and what they're going to turn into this is Cichlid Shane have a great evening bye